there's you work with some just incredibly talented, motivated, um, and people who kind of own their area of the business. Um, a lot that I think we've learned here, um, you know, as we kind of grow this business, how do we keep employees motivated so that they feel ownership for what they're doing? Um, and I think a lot of those uh, probably learned a lot of that stuff at Proctor. I'd say you know Proctor is um, you know an on-the-job you know MBA, um, and 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 uh, you know one of the things I appreciated the most was it didn't matter that I was a freshman you know uh, or a fresh guy out of college when I joined there. The responsibility thrown on me on day one was pretty significant. It wasn't that I had to have training wheels on. I was given pretty big projects to work on, and I was to speak on hiring women. The company lawyer spoke before me on this, this is the new law of the land. So that was the first part and he was the stick and I was to be the carrot. And they did, gave me no help as to what I should say. They, Because they didn't know. I mean, they, they, they just put me up there and said, make it desirable, make these men want to. We're going to tell them they have to, now you make them want to. And um, that was on a Thursday and I had the baby over the weekend before these people even went back to their countries. And I sat there and said I was going to work till the baby was born. Nobody believed me. Well, that instantly changed all the maternity pregnancy policies worldwide because everybody saw it and nobody ever could say, you know, I'm going to get rid of her again. There's a lot of pride, a um, lot of excitement. Um, PNG, I mean, it's, it's a staple of Cincinnati. So, you know, back then everybody said, oh, you know, you work at PNG, you're set for life, you're going to retire a millionaire. So that, I think that was like, oh, wow, you're going to be set. You're, you know, it's success. You know, everybody wants that for their children. And, um, you know, I think she had that, that feeling like, wow, you're going to be, you know, I'm going to be set. It's going back to my grandfather, also extending into my, uh, my wife currently, as well as her father. Uh, my, my father was there 37 years. My uncle was there 37 years. Um, so those two individuals I remember vividly sitting down with at lunch and telling them that I wasn't um, happy with, with what was going on currently at P&G with, with the work I was doing. I wasn't excited by it and uh, told them that I was going to leave the company. And that was a very shocking moment for them. The way back was uh, a fair day's work for a fair day's pay. That came from the original Procter and Gamble. And the stories I hear from folks that that uh, uh, started back uh, many years ago, or you know, they worked hard. You know, they did things that were backbreaking. I retired at 52 years old, which is not uh, common, and I have not worked since. A lot of folks did, but I had 32 years and and I can do a lot of things that I couldn't have done if I had worked for a different company. Uh, P&G treated me pretty well.